The reading for today is from Angelise Arian. She writes, there is a fundamental spiritual quality to gratitude that transcends religious traditions. Gratitude is a universal human experience that can seem to be either a random occurrence of grace or a chosen attitude to create a better experience of life. In many ways, it contains elements of both. Grateful people sense that they are not separated from others or from God. This recognition of unity with all things brings a deep sense of gratefulness, whether we're religious or not. And so it is. Hello. I was telling Dusty this morning when I spoke at the other place, there were lights, so I couldn't see anybody. <laughs> now I can see everyone. So this morning I was uh, sitting on my porch, you know, working through some nerves. You know, I'm, I'm a bit of a loud mouth, but, you know, one gets nervous in situations like this. And so I begin to think that my whole life has prepared me for this moment. Now, I've spent most of my to stand right here. Now, I did preach to a bunch of stuffed animals, and I understand that's a little <laughs> bit different. Um, but I was filled with gratitude for this opportunity and gratitude for this community and for the space and the life that we have to share. And as I was uh, thinking about gratitude this week and kind of writing this talk, I was like, oh my God, this talk is for me. And so it's amazing how that happens, isn't it? So uh, the Ruth that wrote this talk last week is the different Ruth that stands here, so that's great. So with all of our differences and things and our, our opinions and things that we may agree or disagree on, I think that we can all agree on one thing, that this incarnation, this life, sometimes can be difficult. Am I right? <laughs> yes. You know, to me, it's kind of like trying to fit into one of those really cool pair of skinny jeans. <laughs> Life is like that sometimes. You, you can tug, you can kind of pull up against the wall trying to get into these jeans, or you can, uh, be, you know, lay on the bed, all those things that I'm sure none of you have ever done to get into <laughs> some jeans, or even have someone help you. But... <laughs> But sometimes, no matter how hard we try, how hard we try to kind of squeeze into this, um, our hearts and souls were meant for something bigger. Do you get that sometimes? And it can be really easy to get bogged down and focused on these challenges. So the theme this month is gratitude. And more specifically for our purposes today, the theme is blessing is gratitude. So what does this mean? Well, if you're brave enough to continue listening and no one has left, so that's good, I am going to tell you a way that you can completely up-level your experience of this life. Everybody ready for that? Yeah. All right. So when we find ourselves in these challenging situations, and for some reason that can happen more to others, myself included, <laughs> Um, more often times than not, the sooner that we can in that moment focus on something that we are grateful for, the sooner that we can completely transform that experience. But we can only do that when we are focused on this present moment. And I know we talk about present moment, moment awareness a lot, we talk about mindfulness a lot, but that really is the key. It's as simple as that. That is the key ingredient in expressing and living a life full of gratitude. If we're able to take a breath, and I've had to take many this morning before I stood up here, <laughs> and observe the present moment, then we can allow this spirit, this consciousness to flow through us, and we can bless the present moment without judgment, no matter what it looks like. Now, that is the hard part. It's really easy to bless those moments when we're on the top of the mountain, right? But it is really hard 
to bless and have gratitude for those moments when we are dragging our bodies up the trail. Speaking of dragging bodies, <laughs> a recent example. So I recently returned from a trip to Colorado. Now, I'm a North Carolina girl. I know you can't tell from my accent. I have lived in North Carolina all my life, and I love the mountains of North Carolina. They are like uh, sand dunes compared <laughs> to <laughs> the mountains of Colorado. I was blown away by the beauty. I mean, the height of these things. Like, I couldn't take my eyes off of them. And I really felt that if I was quiet enough that they were speaking to me. It was just this magical experience. So, of course, we're going to hike this mountain. <laughs> and so our, our destination was this amazing glacier lake. It was a little bit over 10,000 feet. Now, I've recently come into uh, really loving fly fishing. Um, so there was going to be this epic glacier lake, and we were going to go and fly fish and all that good stuff. So, you know, in preparation for this, I'd gotten really prepared. I had my little poles, so I would look the part. I had my little, you know, my, my pants with the, you know, that zip off, you know, and I was looking cool, and I had my little backpack, and so I was looking the part. So I'm in okay shape, relatively. At 400 feet above sea level, <laughs> I'm in okay shape. But at this altitude, I was a couch potato. <laughs> I mean, a few short feet into uh, this trek, and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I thought my lungs were going to explode, and I was absolutely certain that someone was going to have to drag my limp body, tucked over their shoulder, back to the car. And with each step, and my mind works this way. I, I, am, I am prone to what some may call a little bit of anxiety. Um, so, <laughs> so here I am. We're walking uphill, and I'm looking down, and I can just think, oh my God, I'm going to die. Now, how far are we? How far are we from the car? Now, I, we haven't seen anybody in a while, so if something happened to me, who are we going to tell? That ranger just passed us like two hours ago. Oh, my God, what's going to happen? So these are what, this is what's going to happen. So I am looking straight down, straight down, straight down, and getting a little crick in the neck. And so in that moment, I was like, and this was probably about 14 miles into it. No, a slight exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> this is like 300 feet into it. <laughs> I was like, you know, my back's hurting. I've just got to lift my head a little bit and walk a little bit. And when I did, I was like, wow. I began to take in the most amazing views. My, my attention began to focus not on the pain that was in every part of my body, but this opportunity that was ahead of me, this amazingly beautiful path, this... Uh, the excitement of uh, seeing something I'd never seen before. And I started to be, breathe a little bit deeper. And then I thought, well, I'm not de dead yet. <laughs> I'm still breathing. This is good. And so I thought, wow, my body is, it has the ability to adjust, maybe not fast enough. And my, my legs are moving, so that's good. My heart's pumping the blood. That's good, too. So all of this stuff... And I was sharing this adventure with a wonderful person. And so I just began to be filled with all of this gratitude. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Now, also, this did coincide with uh, that we were now walking downhill. <laughs> so, but I digress. <laughs> I began to express and experience gratitude for all these things, including walking downhill. And we reached our destination with ease sort of, um, no injuries, um, and I was able to experience all this beauty that I wouldn't have been able to if I hadn't lifted my head and looked around. And it was an experience of a lifetime. It was amazing. Not only in this outer landscape that I was seeing, but this subtle shift in this inner landscape. And so that's what gratitude does. 
through the experience and appreciation of our present moment, whatever it may look like, it can create monumental shifts in our awareness and guide us to heights we never thought possible. So it's impossible to hold two opposing thoughts of negativity and thoughts of gratitude. Close your eyes, try to do it right now. Can you think of something negative and, and grateful at the same time? You can't do it. It doesn't work. It's either one or the other, and it's always our choice, always. So the power of gratitude is not just evident in our spiritual growth, but its power also manifests in our physical, mental well-being, our emotional well-being. So even neuroscience is getting on board with this whole gratitude thing. We had it first, but <laughs> they're catching up. They're catching up. So according to uh, scientific studies by neuroscientists, gratitude can improve physical, emotional, and social well-being. It creates greater optimism and happiness, improves feelings of connection in times of loss and crisis, increases self-esteem, heightens energy levels. Who can use that? <laughs> yes. Strengthens heart, immune system, decreases blood pressure, improves emotional and academic intelligence expands our ability to forgive, decreases stress, anxiety, depression, headaches, enhances our ability to take care of ourselves and creates a greater likelihood that we'll exercise truth. And it creates a heightened spirituality and a an ability to see something bigger than ourselves. Now, if I have not convinced you of the importance of gratitude, I can say, man, isn't that a great way to live in that space? So this is more than just a spiritual idea. This is a crucial piece to live in a life full of peace, joy, and vitality. Absolutely crucial. Even in the face of struggles and challenges because we know we'll have them. But our ability to tap into this, it, it increases our resilience and ability to cope with whatever this life brings. And as uh, Janelle read the reading, and I want to say it again because it's just an amazing reading. Arian says, there is a fundamental spiritual quality to gratitude that transcends all religious <clears throat> traditions. Gratitude is a universal human experience that can seem to be either a random occurrence of grace or a chosen attitude to create a better experience of life. In many ways, it contains elements of both. Grateful people understand that they are not separated from everyone else or God. And this recognition of our unity with all things brings this deep sense of gratefulness. Whether we're religious or not, it is just a part of our human experience in the way that we're made. So I believe this captures an essential understanding of gratitude. It's power to solidify a sense of interconnectedness with everything that we see. And don't you think we need that more now than ever? Without this gratitude and our awareness in the present moment, it becomes impossible to live a life that fosters purpose and meaning and connectedness. And that's what we're born for, right? Purpose, connectedness. Through gratitude, we become linked to this power and presence that unifies everything. It's the thing that tethers us to that. It becomes so necessary for our life, just like the oxygen we breathe. So from a science of mind perspective, which I guess is important to highlight, <laughs> in our five-step process of affirmative prayer, who knows it? Yay, we all know. 
our uh, founder, Ernest Holmes, said gratitude is the critical fourth step. So review, we have five step affirmation, we have recognition, unification, realization, gratitude, and release. So we acknowledge that spirit is all there is and we are one and connected with it. We speak our word of truth in the moment through our realization and then we give thanks and gratitude knowing that it's already done in the mind of the universe it's already done or spirit or nature then there's nothing more for us to do to release it into the power of the law or the universe so this high level of gratitude consciousness is where we truly tap into the way life works So everything in the universe is energy, and it's vibrating all the time. You feel it? Vibrating all the time. Maybe that's me, just me shaking. Um, <laughs> so our thoughts are energy, and, and these thoughts become our behavior, whether good or bad. So everything and everyone is ap operating at their own level or frequency. So gratitude is the power tool. And boy, do I love power tools. I would argue it is the most effective of attitude adjusters, and some of us need it. I am top of that list a lot of times. It has the power to change your vibrational activity. Through the practice of gratitude, in the moment, the universe always responds. So when we're upset, challenged, stressed, we're vibrating at that level. And you know what that level feels like. Oof. <laughs> It's a heavy level. So then we attract that level because the universe always says yes, right? So then we attract things at the level that we're at. But when we shift our thinking to feelings of gratitude, the thoughts of gratitude in the present moment, the universe responds too. So we're connected to this level of energy. When we're vibrating that gratitude level, the universe says, oh yeah, I like that. So we attract all that like energy to us. So once we understand that we have the power, can we say it? I have the power. Have yes, the power. all right, good. It becomes a complete game changer, a complete shifting of our inner landscape. Because you know the law of attraction is like attracts like, right? I recently heard a talk uh, from Michael Bernard Betwith, and he said that it's not just the law of attraction, but it's the law of radiation. That we are, we're radiating this energy, we're radiating this level. And you know how kind of heat does it, radiates and comes back, radiates and comes back. So it's just an amazing way to understand that, that we have the ability to create a life that we love and just these simple shifts in the present moment. Simple shifts of gratitude, and I know it's difficult sometimes. Just like Ernest Holmes said, and Dusty said it earlier, change your thinking, change your life. Now I know we've heard that a lot, and it sounds cliche, but I invite you to test the theory and see what happens. Ariane, who I quoted earlier, talks about the transformative power of the practice of gratitude. And she states, through conscious and sustained practice over a period of time, we can discover again how gratitude and all its related qualities, thankfulness, appreciation, compassion, generosity, grace, and so many more of these positive states can become integrated and embodied in our lives. And when people in great numbers, people in great numbers, that's you, when people in great numbers choose to practice, integrate and embody gratitude, the cumulative force that is generated can help create the kind of world we all hope for and desire for ourselves and for future generations. Wow. Just a simple practice of gratitude 
that we can do at any moment in our lives literally has the ability to transform not only our experience, not only the experience of this community, but the experience of every person that is alive in this moment. So simple. Just a simple practice. So our willingness and commitment can literally impact this world that we live in. Because our goal is not just to raise our consciousness, even though that is helpful, but it is, is, is to create this world that works for everyone that we always talk about, right? The conscious choice to shift our focus makes all the difference. We just gotta retrain this crazy mind. I don't know about you, but I've got a crazy mind sometimes. Just crazy, it can go sort, all sorts of scenarios, all sorts of, ugh, when faced with challenges. But instead, to retrain, say, oh, no, take a breath. What am I grateful for in this moment? And to get really curious, this has been my, this has been my uh, lesson in the past few months is when something challenging happens or, or whatever, just say, hmm, what's that about? And in that present moment, be able to, okay, take a deep breath and be grateful for the lesson. Be grateful for the awareness. So I'm going to give you a really practical example of a simple gratitude practice that I would invite you to try over the next week. So it doesn't work. You think I'm kidding, I'm not kidding. (laughs) So a little gratitude experience. Everyone willing to try? I mean, what do we got to lose, right? So the best-selling author and new thought powerhouse, Louise Hay, yay believed in the power of affirmations to cultivate gratitude and change our lives. She asserted that we must become aware of what it is we believe. And what are we telling ourselves, the stories we're making up about the things that are happening in our lives? And we have to get really clear about the impact of this negative and faulty thinking that oftentimes is on autopilot for us. And how that autopilot thinking can really stifle our ability to experience and express gratitude. So when we start going through this list of these missed thoughts and misguided thinking and underlying beliefs, we really begin to say, oh, wow, that's why things are showing up that way in our lives. We can see it. You know, the Buddha says, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. So it's our ability to cultivate gratitude, or inability, I should say, that keeps us stuck sometimes in this loop, 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 this endless cycle of things. So what we're going to do is create. Actually, I've already created it, but I'm going to have you, I'm going to give you one moment, please. So we're going to take these little cards, and I invite you to do this. This is only going to take 30 seconds a day for the next week and completely change your life. I mean, that's a good investment. (laughs) All right. All right, so uh, I don't know the best way to do this, but we're going to... This is why we have you. Yes. (laughs) The brains. The brains behind the operation. Take them, take them. I have more... Had I thought this, I probably would have put it in your seat before. But then I don't get to walk around really cool with this microphone. Okay, we've got we've got more. Yeah, I've got a whole nother pack. Dollar tree, two for a dollar. I mean, what kind of deal is that? Who got it? Who needs them? Now everybody better take one. Teasing. Anybody else need them? Now, I know y'all have pencils, so there's no excuse. You can't say I don't have anything to write with. Because we know you haven't. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So I want everyone to write on their note card this Affirmation. 
Everybody ready? I live my life with awareness and gratitude. I live my life with awareness and gratitude. Because I think you have to have both. Everybody got it? That was it. <laughs> it works. Hey, yeah. All right, so what we're going to do, audience participation. Y'all didn't think you were just going to come and sit. All right, uh, if you so choose, I would like everyone to stand. And you don't have to. All right. So we're going to say this all together. We're going to fill this room with so much gratitude, we're just going to have to open the doors. We're going to raise the vibrational level. Okay, you re everybody ready? ready. Yep. On the count of three, we're going to say it together as best we can. One, two, three. I live my life with awareness and gratitude. Woo, can you feel it? It just raised. And so it is. Yes. All right, everybody sit down. 30 seconds a day. I would love, 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 love for you to do this. When you get up, before you go to bed, just say, I live my life with awareness and gratitude. And just see, just a simple shift. And carry it with you. And if you get a challenging work situation, I live my life with awareness and gratitude. <laughs> I promise, absolutely promise, or your money back, that this, well, maybe not your money back, but this will literally change your experience take you to new heights and now so it is, and so it is. <laughs> if you turn within just for a moment hmm. in this moment I'm aware of the power and presence that is everywhere. This presence, there's not a place where it is not found. And what is really, really cool is that I am connected to this power and presence. It is the very air I breathe. It is the essence of who I am. And I know that if this is true for me, it is true for every person that is present. Not only here, but everywhere. So from the space of connection, from the space of understanding, from the space of this absolutely envelopment of all that is, I speak a word knowing of the amazing ability of a practice of gratitude to literally upfit our lives. And knowing that this power and presence that infuses us is seeking more and more ways to express through us. And with our awareness and our gratitude in the present moment, we are able to open to new ways of seeing and new ways of being. And for this, I am grateful. And I release it into the law, into the universe that always says yes. And so it is. <laughs>